finally home. It was a long night, huh? I mean, don't get me wrong, it was fun. Saw a lot of people I haven't caught up with in a while. But, I don't know. Something was off. Yeah, I guess it's just me. But, I couldn't help but notice how close your friend was with you tonight. You know who I'm talking about, right? He seemed a little too friendly. It's not like I was counting or anything, but he touched your arm. What, like every five minutes? Every time he said something to you, there was that little touch. I mean, come on, you didn't notice that? Look, I know he's your friend, and I'm sure you guys go way back. But I'm just saying, from where I was standing, it didn't feel right. He wasn't just talking to you. He was touching you constantly. And not just the casual like the casual friendly touches. It felt like he was crossing a line. <sighs> Maybe I'm overthinking this, okay? Maybe it's just me being protective. But seeing that over and over, kind of got me. I couldn't enjoy the night fully because every time I looked over, there he was, finding an excuse to get close to you. I got it. You've known him for a long time. And it's just how he is. But babe, just because someone's always like that doesn't mean it's okay. There is a difference between friendly and whatever that was. I mean, if one of my female friends kept doing that to me in front of you, wouldn't that make you feel uncomfortable? Exactly. You'd feel weird about it, right? And I'd understand. Because it's not just about trust. It's about respect. He wasn't respecting our relationship tonight. Whether he meant to or not, he was acting like there were no boundaries. Like it was totally fine to be all over you like that. And honestly, it felt like he was testing me. <sighs> I don't want to be that guy who gets jealous over every little things. That's not who I am. But tonight, I didn't know, babe. I couldn't help it. Seeing him so close to you, it made me feel insecure. Like maybe I wasn't enough. Like maybe he was trying to make a point that he could get closer to you than I could.
<laughs> I know. I sound ridiculous, right? Here I am. Your boyfriend. Sitting here after the party. Getting all worked up over something that probably seems harmless to you. But that's the thing. It didn't feel harmless to me. It felt like he was pushing a boundary. And I just... I couldn't shake it. I didn't want to say anything at the party. I didn't want to embarrass you or make a scene. But every time I saw him touch you, my chest just gets tighter. It was like I couldn't breathe for a second. I kept telling myself to calm down that you'd never let anything happen. And I trust you. I do. It's not about that. But it's hard. Really hard to watch someone else act like that around you and not feel something. You mean everything to me, babe. And when I see someone else stepping into that space that's supposed to be ours, it messes with my head. I don't want to be possessive. I don't want to be controlling. But I can't help sometimes. When it comes to you, I get protective. Maybe too protective. But that's because I care. Because I love you. And I can't stand the thought of someone else thinking they can get that close to you like it's nothing. I know I'm probably blowing this out of proportion. And I'm really sorry if I'm making you feel uncomfortable right now. I just needed to get this off my chest. I didn't want to keep it bottled up. Because the truth is, seeing him touch you like that, it hurts. I didn't expect it to, but it did. <laughs> really? Jealousy is not a good look on me. Hmm. But hey, I'm only jealous because I love you. And I want you to know that. Even when I get all worked up like this, it's because you mean so much to me. I'm not going to sit here and tell you who you can and can't be friends with. I trust you. I trust you to make those decisions. I just needed to say my piece. And I hope you understand where I'm coming from. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just something I'm scared of. Scared that someone else might try to take my place, you know? <laughs> Thanks for listening to me. I know it's late. And this probably wasn't the conversation you'd expected to have after the party. But I feel better now that I've talked about it. I'll try to be better about my jealousy. I just needed to say that. You're mine, and I'm yours. 
I know that. I just needed a little reminder tonight. But seriously though, if he tries that again, I might have to stop in. Just saying. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll try not to be a caveman about it. But just know, I've got my eye on him. <laughs>